Hello, good morning, welcome back. Um, today's Thursday and I'm gonna see if my camera will sit on the couch right here. If I back up, okay. So it is Thursday morning, I just dropped the kids off at school. Um, yesterday I started moving stuff into the trailer. The trailer is done, completely done, except for the bathroom. But we're gonna work on that after we move to the RV park that we're staying at for a couple of weeks while the kids finish school. So while they're in school, like next week, I'll be able to just work on that. Um, but I wanted to just update you guys on what's been, what's going on. Um, not what's going on, but just, I didn't film yesterday. So, um, we're catching up, but this weekend is Memorial Day weekend. If you guys have been around for a while, you know, we always go camping Memorial weekend. We used to always go to the Oregon dunes and like go riding and stuff. But the last couple years, we kind of changed it up a little bit. We've been going with the same group of friends for, I think this is going to be our 14th annual Memorial weekend this weekend. So we go over to central Oregon. Now we did the same thing last year. And so we're going to do that this year too. Let the kids ride their dirt bikes, just like on the trails and stuff. Um, so since we decided to go camping this weekend, that means we are moving into the trailer tomorrow. So today, like, like officially, like we're leaving to go camping tomorrow. So that means today I need to move everything in there. I started yesterday. I got a bunch of the kids stuff in there. got a bunch, like all of my clothes are in there. Um, some bathroom stuff, some kitchen stuff, but I have, I have so, so much more to do today. And then everything that's left over, will be going to storage on Tuesday next week when we get back. So, um, the plan is Friday going camp. Actually, tomorrow morning we're going to the title company to sign um, closing documents because we're closing next week. So they wanted us to come in this week. So then there's like no delays next week when the buyers go to sell or go to sign. So tomorrow morning we're going into the title title company to sign, and then after that we're gonna like finish packing up and hit the road, head over to Central Oregon for the weekend to sisters. Um, meet up with some of our friends that we always go camping with for Memorial weekend. And then we come back on Monday, which is Memorial day. And we go from camping to the RV resort that we're going to be living at for a few weeks while the kids finish school and baseball. And then on Tuesday, we'll drop the kids off at school, come back here, finish taking everything to storage that needs to go to storage. Um, and then clean the house because on Wednesday, is our closing date so uh, oh my phone's over there so that's the plan today's thursday so i need to spend this entire day i have a ton of laundry to fold because i want to get like everybody's clothes out there i want to get everything out there that i possibly can today so that way tomorrow we are basically like packed and ready to go you know so it's happening very fast. This last month has gone by incredibly fast. Um, it's just, it's a big mix of emotions. Like this morning was the last morning getting the kids ready for school in this house. So that was, you know, a little bit sad, but we are all, I don't know, we're all just like sad right now, but also ex like really excited at the same time. It's just a mix of emotions so that's where we're at that's what we have going on um so this morning i'm gonna get all this laundry folded and get the dishes done so then i can start moving all of that stuff out to the tray like i want to make sure all the dishes are clean so i can start figure out figuring out what's going out there and then whatever's left over i'm like okay this is the final stuff that's going into storage it's it's been a, like the last month we've been working on packing and taking stuff to storage but now it's like the final the final things and moving things into the trailer gives us a better idea of like what else can go to storage so that's what we're gonna do this morning um but i just got my sheets and my duvet and my pillowcases and everything washed they're in the dryer right now so we are going to make my bed today putting sheets on an rv mattress it's not the easiest thing Okay, but seriously, I just want to crawl in to this bed now. 
so incredibly cozy looking i cannot wait to get in here i do not know what i was thinking putting on a sweatshirt i thought it was still a little bit chilly out but it's already like 75 degrees so i'm gonna get this sweatshirt off and i'm gonna get in the house i have a ton of laundry to fold so i'm gonna get that folded very first thing because i have to like just eyeball everything and see like what i have room for out here because i got all my clothes in here unless there's stuff i think I have, there's like clean clothes you know, there's more stuff I'm going to end up bringing out here. Um, but if I don't have room for it, then it will be going away in storage. So, we're going to go do laundry, we're going to do dishes, and we're going to start loading things, loading things up into the trailer. No one else makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. Hold my hand, could you hold? So the kids bunk room is done. I still have some things to move in here, but um, got their beds made. The, I just need to bring the boys other pillows out here. But this is under the bunk over here. So we have a toy box of the boys stuff. And then that is all the boys stuff. Got Berkeley's little table. And then um, their clothes will go in those. And then these, and then we also have all of this, and then we're able to hang some things up there. Um, we have some of Berkeley's stuff in these little bins right here. I still have more stuff to bring out here. Got movies, and then uh, down here will be like books and you know more storage and stuff. But it's looking so good in here. Um, we're getting close guys. We're getting close. My tripod is out here, but I got some organization done in here yesterday. Got my um, instant or like my water boil or my tea kettle. Um, it's so much easier to just boil water that way and then dump it into your pot. Like if you're trying to boil water on a gas stove in a trailer, it uses a lot of your propane and it takes a long time to boil. So you just boil your water in that dump it into your pot, turn on the stove, and it's like already going and you use less propane. Little tip there. And then I got this little power strip plugged in. I used some uh, command strips that I cut just to keep the cord like that. And then I used command strips to hang this up just so we have some more outlets because my vacuum 
will go right here and it's like on a stand and then it needs to be plugged in so I can plug it in right there. Oil diffuser right here. I got some of my like most used oils up there. We're like really moving in guys. Really, really moving in. This is crazy. It's all happening. Everything's looking good. And um, now we've got this this beautiful bedding too. I'm so excited about. Okay, so it's a little bit loud in here whenever the AC is on, but it is a hot day today. So the AC is running and I have all the blinds pulled down just to, it helps like keep the heat out of here. But I wanted to show you guys what I've done today. It's been kind of hard trying to like film packing stuff up and bringing it out here just because I have to like move the camera so much and it would take me probably twice as long <laughs> to film it all. And I have so much to do that I cannot keep moving the camera. So I decided I'm just gonna show you guys what I have accomplished so far today. Um, in the kids room, kitchen, I've done a whole lot. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tour real quick of what I've done so far. So I just got back from Walmart. Here, let me shut this door. Just got back from Walmart and I got a new dog bed for cash. It's just like the pillow kind, so you know that'll be out for him the litter box I need to get one but it will go right here just like last time when we traveled so I just picked up that bed from Walmart and then I also got a trash can because I'm pretty sure this is the exact same trash can we had last time we traveled and this is where I had it sitting as well and then the vacuum will go right there and be plugged into that um, just a little trash can like that and then if we need to get into this cabinet, we just put the trash can out of the way. But this has the ice maker in there, which won't be out on the counter all the time, only when we need it, because we'll use the ice maker. And then I'm gonna put like a little bin in here to put the ice in. So we'll just use the ice maker until that's full. Um, and then also the tea kettle is in there. And I got my crock pot and my blender and yeah that's all that's in there so far and then in here we've got cleaning stuff the dish drying rack garbage bags that little organizer um the air fryer is on the counter and then my um stand mixer my KitchenAid will go right here and then on travel days those will just go into the sink and ride in the sink while we're traveling got silverware, um, plasticware. This is where all the cleaning rags will go. And then down here we have hand towels. And then in this drawer, we've got utensils and um, I'll have my, you know, oven mitts. And then this one has knives and then all my measuring cups will go back here. This one will have our plastic baggies. And then this is like our little junk drawer, but it has like this organizer in it. And then down here will be, I just have one cutting board in here right now, but that'll be cutting boards and um, cookie sheets, pizza, pizza pan. And then up here is cups. The kids actually just came out here and got two of the cups. Um, but that's all the cups we're gonna be taking. And then I need to bring the rest of the dishes out here. They're in the dishwasher right now. But kid plates, kid bowls, adult bowls, adult plates, and we have a ton of paper plates. And then in this little guy, it's the lids for our cups and then straws and koozies. So that's that. And then in the pantry, I brought everything out except for just a couple things that I left in the house for the kids to have today after school. Um, so this little container is all of my like spices, cooking oil, just, you know, the bare minimum of what I use all the time. And then all my little pasta organizers. This has like, you know, packets of stuff. And then got oatmeal back there. It's like so dark in the kids' room, even though it's middle of the day, because I have all the blinds down and they have the blackout blinds in their room. Um, but I switched some things up down here. I did have that black cube shelf in here, but I can fit more stuff in these wooden bins than I can in that cube shelf. And it like doesn't, it's not as heavy. So there's toys table kids shoes and then got Braden's comic books up here I don't know what Brody is gonna want to put up in this one DVDs Nintendo switch 
We've got boys sweatshirts, Berkeley sweatshirts, boys socks, all the kids swimsuits, baseball stuff, extra backpacks for hiking. This will be all of their like art supplies, underwear, drawers, and then we have more of the wooden bins down here for Berkeley's toys. And then this is all books. I am going to get some type of shelf to go in there to help with that. And then these are all their clothes, which when we traveled in 2019, this is how I did it as well. And it worked out really well. The only difference is they are four years older than they were last time. So they are, their clothes are a lot bigger. Uh, but we have Berkeley's clothes, Brody's clothes, Braden's clothes, um, you know, shirts, tank tops and dresses, pajamas, and then shorts and pants. And then kind of the same sort of thing over here. Um, shirts, shorts, pajamas, pants for the boys. So that's plenty of clothes. Um, and a lot of clothes are going to storage. And if you guys notice um, a line popping up on the screen, like a purple line that you can see it right here, this particular lens that I use is like a wide angle lens. And it just, it does that sometimes, which is really annoying, but this is my favorite lens to use because the standard lens is like, like this it's like a standard lens on a camera but this one that goes all the way out like that it's my favorite so it's a bummer that it does that I don't know why it does that but it does so I'm sorry about that I might order another one and, and try it and see if it does it maybe this one's just defective but anyways I have to go run and get Brayden from school now so I will check in with you guys a little bit later and let you know if I get anything else done I'm, I am gonna get more done I just don't know if there's it's gonna like you know be anything to show i did get a bunch of stuff put in the bathroom too good morning it's the next day um let me get some lights turned on in here it is pure chaos in the house right now uh last night was our last night sleeping here so the boys actually we brought all the kids mattresses out to the living room last night and they watched a movie the boys ended up sleeping out here Berkeley didn't want to so donnie put her mattress back in her room and she slept in here um but we've got the big couch in the hallway because we brought the mattresses out here. Um, I'm working on packing stuff up from the kitchen to take out to the trailer. We're leaving today to go camping, but since we're leaving today, that means like we're moving out today. And then we'll come back on Tuesday to finish um, like getting the last of whatever's in the house taking it to storage and cleaning and then that's it. We went to the title company this morning and signed our closing documents and then the buyers are signing next week. Today's Friday. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend so we are getting ready to head out to go camping but with the timing that means that we're moving into our trailer today. So as you guys know you saw yesterday I was moving stuff out there and organizing um, but today is like the official day so um it's 9 50 right now i just baked some bread this morning i will put the bread recipe in the caption for you guys it is so easy it makes two loaves at a time um, and it's the best sandwich bread i haven't bought sandwich bread in like over a month it's awesome so this is what the house is looking like right now pretty crazy the kids are all out in the trailer right now um this is all storage stuff and boxes they're out there hanging out boys room is basically empty just have to just have to get a few things off the shelves but mostly everything that's left in here is going to storage so um yeah i gotta get to work just finish taking everything out to the trailer jasper likes the brooklyn in huh Got the last few videos edited on my big computer. I am going to have to get a um, new laptop because the one that I have is fairly old and it like does not work very well at all. Like I can't even edit one video on it without it crashing. So I'm gonna have to get a new laptop to be able to edit for you guys um, because I cannot take my big giant iMac in the trailer there's nowhere to put it 
so that's unfortunate but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting everything out into the trailer i just ordered groceries for the weekend um to get delivered before we leave but i'm gonna finish getting everything out there that needs to go out there and then i will probably just give you guys a little trailer tour and then uh start a new vlog for the weekend so let's go all right we've been working all day to get everything ready what are you doing sir where are you <coughs> bless you you ready to go camping cash welcome home cashy welcome, welcome home, home. <laughs> um okay so we're getting ready to pull the slides in and so everything that sits out on the counters goes into the sink just will ride right here this has a little lip on it so those oils can stay up there um trash can vacuum and then the KitchenAid and the air fryer all sit right here in the center because this slide comes in to about here and then this side comes all the way in. So these will just be secure there. And then the table. Hello. Hello. Um, the table, since this slide comes in, the table will be good there. Um, and then we have um, some of our camp chairs down here. And then those wooden bins we just drop one row of them down so they don't fall over and then the kid we kind of like stack stuff on the kids beds too and they've brought all of their stuff out here um that they wanted you know to bring we've got Berkeley's bows hanging there for now i need to get like another hook so we can hang them up here or something but for now this is what we got going we are getting ready to pull the slides in and um, oh i put cash's bed up here on the couch and his blanket um, he doesn't ride in here. He rides in the back of the truck in his kennel. And then Jasper rides with us in the truck in his kennel. So, anyways, this is what things are looking like. We'll get everything off the table. The kids have, like, their little neck pillows and stuff. Um, and then in our room, we stack stuff on our bed, too. So, we have our Starlink satellite internet dish right there and like this the base for it and everything and then like chargers and whatever um are in here but everything is battened down i got all my shoes in here and then more under the bed so we are about to get ready to head out so that's gonna wrap up this vlog um be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos um but we are getting ready to leave so i'm gonna start a new vlog for our Memorial Day weekend 2023 uh, camping trip. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.